Hello, Bot Buddies. MKJ here, and here is going to be a training on how to use the new Messenger Room events. Now, I've done a couple of trainings using these Messenger Room events recently, and they've been very well received for several reasons. You're going to be able to use this regardless of the 24-hour rule on Facebook, meaning you can communicate directly with the people registered for this event anytime before, during, or after. And you can use these events as actual trainings so that you don't have to set up a separate site to go send people to a particular training video. You can actually conduct them right inside the Messenger room and have a chat platform already set up because it's based on Messenger and have the video done. You can record it if you use another external video source like a Zoom or a, a StreamYard, that kind of thing. Uh, but the main purpose is especially if you have clients or you are a coach or a course creator who uh, does a five-day challenge or a 21-day challenge or any of those kinds of uh, training programs, even a webinar, and you want to keep the attendees of this particular event contained without having to actually create a pop-up Facebook group and manage a pop-up Facebook group. Um, you can create that and use the messenger room event to handle the entire process. And then at the end, sell your thing, whatever it might be. So I'm going to take you through that. So bear with me. I'm just going to go step by step and show you exactly how I set it up. And I'm going to talk you through how I use this and how I use this for my clients. All right. One comment before we start. No matter what you do, there needs to be a very clear uh, path or strategy created because otherwise you're just diving in and clicking buttons and creating something that you haven't thought through. So first off, no matter what, create that strategy or that framework before you actually dive in and just start clicking buttons and create this messenger room event. Um, that's number one. Number two, make sure that all the content, all the information is available at your fingertips before you get started. Because of course, this process um, is just like setting up, let's say a ClickFunnels page or a, a messenger, you know, the beginnings of a messenger flow. So if you gather all of your data and information ahead of time, and especially your copy, uh, it's going to make your job that much easier. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see my screen and I'm basically just in my Facebook uh, account and I'm going to show you several things that you can do. So I'm going to go to pages first and show you how this uh, is conducted with a page. So let's go to the Bot Academy page and each of these different places. I've done events with both a uh, Facebook page, a business page, and also a Facebook group. So each of them has a, a few different uh, benefits and drawbacks. So if I come here to the Facebook page, you can see under events, I just click events and I'm going to create new event. Okay. Now here's where they're both the same. All right. Um, no matter what you do, if you're doing it on a page or in a group, you're going to have these same, uh, very similar options. So I'm going to create an online event and you can either have just a general event or you can have a class. And typically the way I've done them is in a class because you can actually add several uh, different days worth of courses. So that's where you can do like a five day challenge. You can actually set up the entire thing ahead of time. So let's do a class and then you're going to have to decide, is this a single class? So let's say you're doing a webinar. Single class would be perfect for a webinar, right? If you're going to do a five day challenge, then you're going to do a course of classes, several classes. So let's just do the challenge. All right. Now you're going to have the option of either paid or free. Uh, so, you know, are you going to make it paid or are you can make it free? There's really your two choices. Now, one of the things that I recommend, and I'll just talk about this when I talk about doing this in a group is if you are doing, let's say, um, a, you have a membership or one of your clients might have a membership, uh, and they do a training in the membership. They could actually set this up as a messenger room event and do it as a free event and um, then set up a paid version of this event, same event. And in the paid version, they can actually go live in the Facebook group from the paid version of the event and allow for kind of like a teaser, if you will. 
So if I'm going to do a training in my membership and I'm going to talk about outsourcing, let's say, and I have a guest like Nathan Hirsch, which I have in my membership, I'm going to have a guest who's going to train us on outsourcing since he has outsourced school and he sold free up for multiple, multiple millions of dollars. So he has quite a bit of expertise in outsourcing. So I might do a teaser in the beginning of this paid course um, in the Facebook group and make it live to anyone that's in the Facebook group to attend. And then at the end of that, uh, that live, then uh, I can say, all right, that's, that's as much of the content that we're giving away for free. If you want to learn more about exactly what we're gonna do next, then go to this events page and you can join us. So you can do a teaser in the Facebook group uh, and then have them actually uh, join the paid version. All right, so let's just set up a free event right now and it's gonna automatically pull in the, um, the image for the actual Facebook page. So let's say I'm doing this course. This is a course I'm going to actually do very soon. Um, and so when I, over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to fill in all the details. Automatically, it says uh, it's public because it's based on a Facebook page. So obviously, if I'm going to do this in a Facebook group, it's going to be in a private setting, right? Because unless the Facebook group is public as well. All right. So then I'm going to click next. And as you can see, all of this information is going to get uh, filled in as I uh, complete it. So I'm going to say what to, connect, uh, what to expect. Um, right? And then the requirements, if you have any. So let's say in Bot Academy, um, I don't take brand new people who've never done any marketing and never done any technology at all. So I would say requirements are um, Okay, uh, so that's what's going to be the option. Now, here's where I can actually link a group. Since this is on a business page, Facebook business page, I can actually link a group. So here's a group. I'm going to link that group and we're going to go next. And here's where I'm going to decide. Am I going to actually uh, create the video in this messenger room event? Or am I going to uh, using messenger video, messenger room video? Or am I going to use some kind of external third-party link like a Zoom link or a StreamYard link, right? Um, and then if there's another way, you know, there, we're going to go meet in a Google meeting or, you know, we're going to meet at a um, local, you know, coffee shop or, you know, what, I don't know what other options there would be for an online training, but uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's an other. So the external link, if you click that, then it would actually allow you to put in the link. So if you have a Zoom link or if there's a, a StreamYard link, uh, to a live uh, stream StreamYard, then you just add that link here and it will automatically populate the, um, the actual invitation or the uh, course page with that link once you register. Uh, but let's talk about the interactive video room first. So the, the video room, I did the majority of these trainings in the beginning in a video room. If you use a video room and an actual messenger room, um, you can go live. And when you go live, if you have it set up this way, automatically Facebook records that and puts that on your group or page. But if you don't go live and you're just doing this training in this room, it will not be recorded. I haven't found any way to actually record this video yet. Now you could possibly do a loom and things like that, but it still won't, won't be clean. Also, these rooms show just like you see on the screen. It shows like a you know, a Zoom um, room uh, or like the, you know, Brady Bunch squares kind of thing. Um, and that's what you're going to see. Even if you uh, then share your screen, you're going to still have those, uh, those um, shared uh, video blocks uh, for people who participate. The benefit of the video room, as you can see, it also says up to about 25 students is, is good for this because basically all the students will be able to participate just as if you are just in a Zoom chat, not a Zoom webinar. OK, 
Okay, so that means you'll hear, you'll have to tell everyone, please mute your microphone, please turn off your video. I mean, if you want to actually do a complete training, if you're doing a mastermind call, um, then you can just do the mastermind call and have everyone as part of it. And in, unless you actually need to re record it, you can just have your mastermind call this way because people are going to participate. But if you actually want to do a training like a, like a webinar or a, uh, a challenge, you're going to want to have you or the, the main uh, owner of this material be showcased and be the only one on the screen and the only one sharing their screen and then maybe be able to you know, answer questions and things uh, afterward. So you're going to want to use a Zoom link or something like that. And then with that, they will automatically be able to go open the Zoom link. And then when you have Zoom, you can also then do some more um, data gathering by having them actually register on Zoom, like you know they can with their name and their email address, and then they're added into the actual Zoom room. So it depends on your specific requirements and whether it's yours or your clients, um, which of these might be best for you. And you might use different ones for different, uh, different types of events. All right, so let's just say I'm going to leave the interactive video room so I can continue the process. I'll click next. And now, since this is a variety of classes, I'm going to add a class. So I'm going to, this one is going to be challenge day one. And it can see, you can see the date. Um, I can, let's put the date for the 11th. And it's going to be, let's say, 12 noon, one hour. And this is, I'm going to add that class. Then I'm going to add day two, day three, et cetera, et cetera. Right? And I can change the dates. As you can see, it's automatically making this a week later each time. Uh, so you can change that however you like. All right. And that's that. And you can add all the content and all of that. So you can see it's going to update this information as I go. Five hour total because each class is one hour and five classes. This is online course with rooms, public, anyone on or off Facebook can get it. Anyone can share the link. It's going to right here tell you what you're going to be learning at the time. And then this is going to add it to a list of other courses and other rooms that uh, are available to people. So when you get this, uh, when we get this done and published, you'll be able to click these other icons down here, or these buttons, and it will show you other messenger rooms or other courses that are online and other courses that are using a messenger room. Okay, here's the requirements and here's all the information added, each date and all the information, everything that you, you would uh, put in there is going to show that. So I can click this drop down button once it's done and you'll see everything that's part of that. And then once people start registering for it, you'll see all the statistics right there. All right. This also, the beauty of this is it has a group chat. So what's going to happen is next you'll see, it'll automatically populate a group, group, group chat and it'll have the title of the training as the title of the group chat. So that's what really helps you understand or helps people understand what, uh, what challenge they're a part of or what training they're a part of, right? So if this is a particular training and normally say your clients or you do a pop-up Facebook group, then you close down the Facebook group and all of that, you can just do this in a messenger room and you can keep messaging people or shut down or you know uh, stop the messenger uh, chat, group chat, whenever you like. So let's do this. We're going to change this. I'm going to say, um, use it in my language. Howdy. Uh, I'm MKJ and I'll be your instructor for, and then there's the title. Let's use this chat to share feedback, updates, and class material to kick off. Please introduce yourself and tell everyone what you're hoping to get from the class. That's automated in there. All right. So then all I have to do, as you can see, when you create an event on Facebook, uh, the pages, groups, and events policies apply. So all I have to do is click publish event. I'm going to save it as a draft right now, but you just publish the event and you're good to go. You can start sharing the link. Um, let's see. And it's showing you basically because I'm using that video room chat, my personal profile will be the one visibly leading this chat. Okay. So let's just go ahead and I'm just going to go at it. Well, I don't want to publish it 
um, because I don't want the public <laughs> to come and and get into this uh, this chat yet because it's not I'm got, not going to use it this way. So as you can see, here it is. This is the chat. It's been created. And then uh, what will happen is once you publish it, you will be able to come down here and um, instead of edit down here, there will be an invite button. Okay. Yep. And then this is going to be like a, a regular page where you can actually introduce yourself. You'll be able to put posts on this page and have people um, interact with the, the posts and all of that. Um, you can then message the class. Um, you can, tr you can try the video, see how that's going to work. You can do all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how to do it from an actual page, Facebook page. Uh, now let's go and see if we can do it from the group. And let's see if there's anything different, shall we? All right. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to events. And I'm going to create event. You can see that I've done events before on this page. Same process. I'm going to do online. I'm going to do a class and I'm going to do a course of classes. Okay. Course name is going to be the same. And this automatically has the privacy settings of the group itself. Okay. Um, everything else will be the same. So the only difference is I can now in a group, instead of, uh, you know, having to upload a separate image, I can use some of the group icons and the group um, headers or images uh, for this particular event, right? So I can go through all of these and see which one I think applies. Instead of just using the cover image for the group, I can change it and have a few little features because this is part of a group and not on a page, okay? and the same requirements. Okay. And here again, same concept. Am I gonna do an external link or am I gonna do an, an interactive video room? And exact same process. Right, et cetera, et cetera. And then the same exact situation happens. We're going to create a new chat with a new introduction and we go off from here. Okay, everything else is the same. The only difference here is that as you can see down here, we now have event settings. So basically, because this isn't a Facebook uh, group, instead of on a public page, you're going to have some restrictions because of the privacy of the group. You know, if this group was totally open and had no privacy settings on it, then it would look just like a Facebook page, business page. But this is a private group that you have to uh, answer some questions in order to be a part of and be approved to be a part of. So here we're asking, they're going to ask you, because this group is private, can guests share the room link so that people outside of the group can possibly attend? Okay, so you're going to have to decide on that. All right, so I'll click save there. And then it comes back here after the event settings. The next thing you can do is any of your friends that are in this group, that are actually your Facebook friends, this will automatically invite your friends to this Facebook group and specifically to this event, okay? Um, and then all you need to do is create the group, or excuse me, create the event. Same exact process. The only difference, as you can see, there is not a feature to save this as a draft. So I don't know why, but uh, Facebook doesn't, uh, isn't allowing you to save this as a draft. So that's why I say have all of your information at hand before you create this, because you, you will not be able to just save this and come back later. I've been in the process of creating a, an event like this, a messenger room event, and you know something happens, either my internet um, goes down or um, something reboots on my page, Chrome or anything like that. And then it reboots and everything that I had in there was lost because there is no save feature for a Facebook group messenger room event. All right. What's the benefits of one to the other? Well, um, number one, a Facebook group is a very popular tool right now for coaches and course creators to get sales. Uh, the formula is the uh, owner of the Facebook group will invite 
um, members to uh, interact with content or attend a training, and then they will be using that group to make money. The way they get people into the group and grow the group is with Facebook ads going to a landing page because you can't do Facebook ads directly into a group. So you go to a landing page and on that landing page, it basically has opt-in information and, uh, and a button to join the group. So the Facebook ad goes to the landing page, not to a, a group, but the purpose is to grow the group. So you have that landing page, have the benefits of why they should join the group. They click that button to join the Facebook group. And most of the people are having, most of the coaches and course creators have a, uh, a, a plugin, usually a Chrome extension attached to that group. The one that I use is called group leads. And the one that my clients use is called group leads. And the group leads basically allows you to automate a lot of the group um, uh, approval or decline and uh, automation of messages for the group. So you add group leads, you approve and automatically add those people to a uh, post in the group. Um, and you can have your own automated uh, personal welcome on that post. Or, and it also allows you to populate um, a Google Sheet, if you'd like, with uh, the names and, and email addresses and answers to all of your questions that are part of the process of approval for the group. And it also integrates perfectly with high level. So now you have people coming into the group, you have a Google Sheet of all these leads, and you have contacts being added to high level with a tag that allows you to then add them to a workflow and uh, completely um, automate your lead generation and nurturing to help these people attend your five-day challenge or your webinar or your course. It's a beautiful thing. So uh, here, that is the process. Uh, there's the, there are the few little differences between the Facebook page and the Facebook group um, and whether you start your uh, actual um messenger room event on either a business page or a group. And we've talked a little bit about the uses of that group and how you can best utilize it. Uh, this, this right here, this actual group chat is what will allow you to circumvent the 24 hour rule in messenger. If you've built messenger bots with mobile monkey or many chat or chat fuel or any of the programs out there, um, you will know that you only have 24 hours, even if it's a challenge. So if you're using the confirmed event content type in your chat bot uh, for a challenge, you are using it incorrectly. It is illegal to use that content type for a challenge. Um, so you are running the risk of getting shut down if you use that confirmed event content type. Um, I can now tell you, you can use this group chat if you have, or if your clients have admins that are sharing information, PDFs, worksheets, any of that information, you can share it right inside this group chat and you can communicate with the people in the group chat anytime you want before, during, or after the event without any difficulties of getting shut down by Facebook. The best part about this is once you have this event and you have these, uh, this communication, you also have these people in high level. If you use that, if you need more information about that, I'll be publishing a training on that with a dear friend of mine, uh, Pat Friedel, you know him as Al Friedel. And um, you can use high level to communicate directly with all of these people as well. So uh, I'm telling you, this is an incredible tool that will prevent you from having to do pop-up Facebook groups and having people messaging and, and putting posts. Um, and even in a pop-up Facebook group, you don't have a group chat like you do on this. Um, so most of the time things get lost. I've also had people join the event after uh, most other people. And because this is a group chat, no matter when they join the chat and the event, they can see all of the previous conversations in the chat, which uh, isn't the case of Zoom on a Zoom chat. When you join the Zoom chat, you only see from that point forward, you don't see all the previous comments that have been done in Zoom.
So it has a great advantage. You can, um, you can then also reply to certain messages so that if someone says, hey, where's the worksheet? You can just go reply to the original post of that worksheet in the chat. There are all kinds of things. People, uh, members can message each other back and forth. You can kick members out if there are people you don't want in. Um, you can mute members. You can do all the things that a regular messenger group chat can do, but it's confined to just this event. So it's gonna eliminate the need for that pop-up group. All right? And you can just have it in this event and you can have the event go for as long as you like. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some great information on how to use a messenger room event to not only grow your business, but possibly if you are an agency owner uh, and especially a messenger chat, uh, messenger bot agency owner, how you can use this for your coaching and course creator clients just as an added benefit and a little tool that might make their lives a little easier. Um, I hope this was valuable to you. If it is, please leave me a comment and let me know if this is uh, good information. You want more like this? Obviously, you know that you know the drill, right? Subscribe to the channel. Uh, there are going to be many more of these kinds of trainings coming up, um, and specifically, as you saw. We are uh, definitely doing some trainings. We've already done trainings in our private mastery um, um, membership on NFTs and crypto. Uh, so that's definitely a direction that we are taking for our members. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you get to have many interesting conversations with people doing extraordinary things. Take care.